Well, there it is. It's working. And of course, the Christmas stocking. Well, hopefully you saw a demo of it outside. If you didn't, then something went horribly wrong. So, I'm going to show how I made this. And uh, the theory first, then the construction. So it's basically a 555 timer and a CD4017B, which is a decade counter with 10 decoded outputs. So... This part over here is providing the input to the counter. Uh, standard 555. Uh, we have R1, R2 in the capacitor here, which uh, determines a frequency. Uh, frequency is this formula. 1.44 divided by bracket R1 plus a 2 r 2s bracket times the capacitance. And with this, it uh, works out to be approximately 2.12 hertz. And I say approximately for a good reason. Uh, this capacitor over here is a plus or minus 20%. So those two digits over there don't really count. Uh, let's see what else about this. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. I'm operating everything on 5 volts. I did put this um, capacitor on to uh, pin 5, uh, 0.1 microfarad. Uh, some say it's needed, some say it don't need it. So, eh, whatever. But on this side here, oh, we have a square wave coming in. We have the 5 volts here. We don't have a lot of uh, control uh, pins being used. Clock inhibit is pin 13. Reset is pin 15. Tie them together and tie them to ground, and then it'll just keep cycling around and around and around. Pin 8 goes to ground. Then for the outputs, uh, no, they don't go 1, 2, 3, 4. It's like number 3 is for 0, 2 is for 1, 4 is for 2, 7 is for 3, 10 is for 4, Blah, 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 blah. Uh, carry out's not used uh, for this one. But if you were to put another one of these down, down there uh, and chain them together, you could just keep chaining these together. Now, this is something that uh, bothered me. It's, I looked on the internet and there's sites that go, the output of this is limited to 1.5 milliamps. Nowhere in the spec sheet does it say that. Uh, what it does say is 100 milliwatts for the output transistor. So I did up two of these, uh, two ways. Uh, first off, let's just go through the calculations. For a red, it's got a 2.6 volt uh, drop. Uh, so 5 minus 2.6, 2.4 volts. Going to be going across the resistor down here. And that means 2.4 volts if I use a 1500 ohm uh, resistor, 1.6 uh, milliamps. Uh, for the green, here's the calculation. It works out to be 1.1 uh, milliamp. And that's actually bright enough uh, for outside at nighttime. But what I'm going to do is make it a lot brighter. So... 5 volt minus 3.35, going in reverse order this time, 1.65 volts. I want 10 milliamps. So voltage divided by um, ampage equals the resistance, 165. For the red, it works out to be 240 ohms. Uh, I've got a 270 ohm resistor. I stuck it in there. So saying it's generally... Uh, 10 milliamps uh, going through here. Uh, that's 5 volts, or voltage times current, 
equals power. 5 times 0 0.01, 50 milliwatt uh, output per of these. And if I'm making an error somewhere in there, eh, put in a comment. So that's what this thing whoops, looks like on the breadboard. So it's roughly 2 hertz. So the next step of this is going to be to take that, put it on there so that it can fit in here because this fits actually quite nicely like that. And then once it's all tested and working, I'll hot glue this end in. And I'll probably drill a tiny little hole down on this end uh, so that if any moisture does leak in, uh, it just drips out the bottom. So the next step is populate that onto here. Forgot to mention that I will be putting a decoupling capacitor right at the beginning here. Uh, this one here, and it'll go across there. Because um, this is located quite a distance from the actual um, power adapter. And I'll be fast forwarding through most of this because it's just going to take too much time. I'm not that fast. And I'll probably do it camera range a couple times. I think there's something music. Turn these fuckers over. I think I'm just going to have to resort to snapshots of it. Uh, trying to do this uh, with a camera in front of me just is not working out. So I've run a ground uh, line between pin 8 and uh, pin uh, 13 and 15 and then taken it up into this area where I've stuck... The resistor that comes across for the um, grounded grounding side of the LEDs. And they'll be connecting a whole bunch in there. And I tossed in the capacitor over there for uh, the 555 pin 8 uh, to ground. And I stuck the decoupling capacitor there and ran the ground down to here which then goes back here, then back up. I gave up trying to record this while working on it. It just, I just don't fit underneath the camera like that. So basically right now I've got everything except the LEDs hooked up. Uh, I've got the resistor there. So I'll, all I have to do now is run the LEDs, point them whichever direction I want, bring them back here, and then make one big soldering uh, mess there. And then run the power out going that way. So here it is before I hot glue it up. Just making sure everything works properly. And then I'll take it outside. Now, the magic ingredient, hot glue. Whoever invented this thing had a really good idea. Yeah, I think I needed to let it warm up a tiny bit longer. OK, 
Okay, give it some time. Well, there it is. It's working. And of course, the Christmas stocking.